before actually starting and in, entering into this topic i would like to brief about this institute where i am working this uh, pro it was earlier as a project directorate of biological control exclusively this institute was meant for biocontrol research that's why all india coordinated research on biological control is being housed at this institute it was uh, dedicated institute for biocontrol research icr had uh, four bureaus for uh, plants animals fish and microbes and they wanted to have one more bureau for insects so that time uh, dr rabindra who was here uh, former director here cpps and he was the director there that time 2000 i think 2009 that time this uh, project director of biological control has been upgraded as national bureau of agriculture insect resources so we all uh, we three plant pathologist three microbiologist nematologist organic uh, biochemistry all people we are there and we were doing our their uh, microbiology and plant pathology there is no difference because it is a biocontrol institute some people can do on uh, bacterial diseases some people can do on fungal diseases so exclusively it was a biocontrol institute so we were happily we were doing on biocontrol research means we were concentrating on developing some technologies and management of uh, diseases plant diseases so we were by that time when it was renamed as project directorate of biological control i had become a principal scientist then again we can't go anywhere though we have completely our uh, from uh, msc onwards we have contributed on plant disease development and we have been recruited there as uh, a plant pathologist and the mandates have been changed slightly towards insects because uh, so what for entomologists it is a uh, heaven that institute what we were now microbiologists pathologists nematologists some seven eight people still we are we are there this all seven eight people we are continuing on slightly we dive, diverted our work towards insects so till 2011 uh, uh, this was upgraded as national bureau of agriculture le important insects first nbaii so all plant pathologist microbiologists have been given chance to migrate wherever they are interested so some people have migrated the youngsters have migrated those who have crossed uh, the maximum uh, promotion they like i didn't want to move anywhere i am continuing there and they allowed me to continue up to 2014 we were doing on plant disease management then strictly they insisted we can't allow you people to continue on plant disease management so you can have your uh, plant disease research on externally funded projects but institute projects you have to slightly fine tune your work towards pest management any any microbes you can choose uh, whatever the interested microbes and uh, fine tune your research towards microbes so oh, they didn't uh, uh, means they allowed us to do on plant disease management but though because institute mandates may not permit us to completely depend on plant disease research so still ascrp on uh, by control is housed at this icr nbar so the plant disease uh, works are being continued by us and it is also a biocontrol is a major mandate of mandate of this institute so what we shifted slowly i shifted from disease to uh, insect uh, gut microflora slightly because that area nobody has explored much on what this microflora uh, what this symbionts i will slightly differentiate what is gut microflora symbionts i will clearly define later and this area at that time uh, dr krishna kumar one ddg was our director he was ddg horticulture he was our director he repeatedly he used to tell white flies and leaf hoppers are surviving in the field 
after 10 15 rounds of insecticide sprays we could see the insects were, are alive after in, in spite of repeated sprays the he repeatedly tells so we endemologists we say there are several other mechanisms but uh, beyond those uh, mechanisms the microbes play a major role for the insect survival in the field after repeated sprays of insecticides how they are surviving so you can see for cotton leaf for i started because we wanted to switch to slightly towards that area so i started uh, with this uh, microflora gut microflora on cotton leaf hopper it's a new field for me i didn't know anything on that but because that was the area uh, never explored that is untouched area all this gut symbionts or gut microflora so we wanted to tap that area what they are doing inside the insects so many bacteria are being harbored in the insect gut and what roles they are playing for the insect fitness and uh, development means fitness attributes mainly see in that uh, area this vector competence means how why all insects are not becoming vectors why leaf upper white plate sucking sucking insect pest are becoming major vectors what about other insects why other insects are not becoming vectors so this we connected this uh, role of this cut microflora maybe one of the so many roles are there for uh, they are playing major role in our system also our we have lot of gut microflora and they are having major role in our digestive system like that this insects also harboring lot of microflora and that are playing a major role in the insects some insects can't survive without the support of this gut microflora they will die because they supplement all the nutrients some nutrients are very essential without that the insects cannot survive like that it's an obligate relationship has been established with these two partners so uh, what we have i have uh, explored this gut microflora for insect cell reasons little bit we have collected different populations across the country wherever insecticides are being dumped to cotton fields different populations we have collected and cotton leaf hopper so we used to uh, cut the legs wings head we our target is uh, the gut but isolating gut is not so easy some experts are there endemologists they can dissect the gut but these are all the tiny insects even thrips also it is very difficult to dissect gut so what we do we dissect the wings possible through microscope we used to dissect the tail means that is uh, legs wings head portion as plant pathogens how we isolate from the samples na huh? same way we used to sterilize with sodium hypochlorite then uh, 70% ethanol finally it will be sterilized to means water then we will uh, inoculate on the media you can target for different organisms if you target for actinomycetes it you can find actinomycetes also inside the gut in the gut you can target but what we encountered major is bacterium only so many bacteria fungus little bit we have isolated from the leaf upper gut what will do we dissect only you can't isolate uh, gut portion exactly you are supposed to do that way only you have to isolate your uh, insect gut then uh, you can uh, inoculate uh, in the media different media are there for different uh, set of organism so that uh, you can characterize and you can assess the roles what they are doing so uh, what we have uh, studied in different uh, Uh, roles of this gut microflora why i am using gut microflora and the endosymbionts slight difference all endosymbionts are gut microflora see unless the gut microflora if that uh, if it doesn't have any role it should have some role all gut whatever the micro if it is having certain mutualistic role on 
insect fitness then it is called endosymbionts all gut microflora cannot be endosymbionts some microbes simply they will come and they will survive they will go microbes which have some definite roles on the growth and development of insects mutualism this here are symbionts i am using the term they are uh, they are uh, having the shelter inside the insect gut and they are supplementing some nutrients to the insect so they have the definite roles on the insect growth and development that microbes are being called symbionts or other all microflora we call gut microflora only as long as the micro microbial roles are assigned you will call them as gut microflora once you establish this bacillus subtilis is doing something on the insect growth and fitness then you can say they are all endosymbionts or ectosymbionts two classes are there again ectosymbionts our all pathogens insect pathogens also ecto ecto microbes we can say symbionts the insects are being infected with so many microbes verticillium bavaria metarhizium so many categories are there they are all ecto microflora you can say ecto symbionts so this uh, sometimes you may encounter bavaria inside the insect gut i have seen bavaria metarhizium sometimes ralstonia may be there inside the insect gut how it comes we will see while going through the slides so this is the minor difference between the gut microflora and the insect means endosymbionts so we have what in the cotton leaf hopper same way different populations were collected and we have grinded extracts and then we have organisms characterized and we have studied the roles on insecticide resistance especially acita acifate and imidacloprid and those studies we have done with iasc lcms studies and that we have proved that this microflora are being played a major role in insecticide degradation so that this is one mechanism of insecticide resistance beyond this several mechanisms are there inside the microflora is also one of those they are also playing role for insecticide degradation so so whatever the insecticides you are spraying it is being degraded so insects are alive on the field that way instead of he was uh, rep requesting repeatedly we initiated and then uh, that was uh, 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 means uh, people are doing still efforts the same work but i stopped with that uh, that was my exposure towards cut microflora and this area also when go through the literature same way how the uh, insects carry the plant viruses that is also very important point so we are not able to come out a solution for the management of plant viruses so that this i have not worked much in that whole area cut microflora or endosymbionts i am not a big expert but i can give some points some lead to you so that you can continue on this line we can have a, a small collaborative project because somewhere we can go see the funding on this aspect uh, because it is not so easy when uh, i was uh, collecting the literature some some lead i will give through this my point slides so that we can future we can see how way this uh, micro microflora uh, we can manipulate the microflora for managing the plant viruses so many i have i had one more project on t shot hole borer and blister blight was funded by t board there also i did the same way t shot hole borer is surviving with the help of fusarium ambrosium it was a strong symbiosis where the t shot hole borer cannot survive without the support of your fusarium ambrosium that was well proved concept if you dissociate if you dissociate the fusarium from the insect the insect will not survive because the insect is supplying major because of the fusarium mycelium only the grubs the insect grubs feed fusarium mycelium only fusarium only food for the 
your uh, tea shot all borer it supplements sterol the sterol is important component for the fecundity insect egg laying without sterol egg laying will not be there sterol is supplemented by the fusarium ambrosium so the mycelial mat is the main source food source for the tea shot all borer if you arrest the growth of fusarium in the insect system or in the tea stem galleries you you can manage the tea shot all borer so this way so many uh, connectivity is there now we will come to this actual lecture as i mentioned there are two classes of endosymbionts i has already told i differentiated gut microflora as well as endosymbionts here two classes primary symbionts and secondary symbionts whatever i have studied in uh, cotton leaf upper all are secondary symbionts because primary symbionts have evolved uh, long back that symbionts have integrated in the insect genome also some of the primary symbionts you have to see the metagenomic approach to characterize those primary symbionts some of the primary symbionts are culturable most of the primary symbionts are unculturable their association is obligate without that the insect cannot survive so some areas specialized host cells are called bacteriocytes in their in their that uh, tissues the symbionts uh, may survive in the insect that is the associations are permanent associations and they will be living in the insect for long period some of them are integrated with the insect genome and they will be moving further generation through vertical transmission through x of springs and x but secondary symbionts are facultative their association is not very much uh, required without that also the insect can survive but the secondary symbionts are also playing major role in different uh, areas our sim vector competence comes under through secondary symbionts the secondary symbionts playing major role for vector competence how the secondary symbionts are playing secondary symbiont means they are showing horizontal transmission because the insect can acquire the microbes from other insects or plants or soil or from me or from you that is secondary symbionts so it is horizontal it is not through vertical it can be there with the insect for few months few days one hour but within those time it may have very great role it may survive few hours only within the serratia is a major bacteria it is there inside the gut but though the association is very limited may survive for one month or two months that is sufficient for the insect to carry a virus through the gut and hemolymph then salivary glands finally it pass through the gut i mean stylet within our also they can help the insect to carry the virus so these are all secondary symbionts they may be occurring through uh, horizontally and maybe they may to come from the soil the system is like that how the insects are getting this secondary symbionts so many secondary endosymbionts are there so the plants stacking the microbes from the soil the insect feeds the plants so it goes to the insect again it will come this is the cycle my my because i can compare the soil microflora as well as gut microflora almost same organisms are there while sterilization is important while isolating you should exclude all the external microflora because we should sure we sh you should ensure the this many bacteria are there in the gut simply you put it on the media without pakka sterilization you can't your uh, contaminated means your uh, your uh, ex ex uh, means surface organisms na the isolation procedure i am telling you should be very careful by isolating pakka sterilization you have to do otherwise you are all other organisms na surface organisms also come into your video you can't differentiate what they are doing that's why i am telling your bavaria also will be there metarism also will be there your meticillium also will be there your bacillus also will be there 
whether the bacillus comes from the insect gut or from the body surface of the body means that the larval body or the insect body that should be you should exclude your while sterilizing so that you can say 100% this is the symbiont or gut microflora use your sterilization should be perfect otherwise you will end with how the metarhizum has come inside without pakka sterilization you do the all the organisms will come into your picture so you will confuse yourself and your roles also how will you define metarhizum is a pathogen and a pathogen it is killing the insect you are endosymbionts protecting the insects against the pathogen that is the difference here okay this all symbiont secondary symbionts are having major role it protect the host against the pathogen infection the vertithelium cannot go cannot penetrate inside because of those symbionts they have lot of metabolites they produce the bacteria only they produce lot of metabolites they protect the host so that your pathogens cannot penetrate cannot cannot invade inside so that is the way the difference between your ecto and endo this uh, secondary symbionts are playing major role for insect survival extreme cases because high temperature or cold condition or uh, your insecticide degradation or your uh, nutrition or your uh, uh, protecting the host from uh, pathogen invasion like that so many roles are there how in our gut we have lot of bacteria they are also protecting us from uh, your uh, external uh, so many bacteria you are you consuming lot of bacteria daily so our gut microflora are also protecting you like that insects are being protected by from this invasions so again uh, this is a clear cut difference primary and secondary see how they are distributed transmission the roles the primary is mainly with uh, essential elements some of the elements are very essentially required for the host that cannot be see the phloem feeders phloem may not contain the nutrients what the insect needs so that uh, special elements should be supplemented with this bacteria only so without that so they are playing major role your primary and secondary you see so many roles are there for the survival so mainly your primary insects primary symbionts are there in the plant sucking plant sap sucking insect blood blood sucking insects and both uh, plant um, in sap and as blood sucking insects there it is only sap sucking insect sucking pest you see this is my little bit na so you see you see the left column left most column what are all the secondary symbionts are for that purpose i have projected what are all the secondary uh, symbionts this is i put gut microflora because i don't know what they are doing without knowing the role you can't say so these are all the bacterium you are available in the insect gut see different type of bacteria whatever you are available in the soil also you can see inside the gut see each bacteria have different roles you see what uh, bacteria wise i have given the role uh, staphylococcus enterococcus some of them are human pathogens also some of the enterobacter enterococcus see bacillus mumilis is a very good organism which playing major role which uh, helps for the biocontrol of plant this all gut microflora flora also being used as a biocontrol agents also we can use this uh, microflora for managing plant disease that is another area of research so one more area you isolate your gut microflora you can ask me how far they are inferior compared to soil microflora soil pseudomonas is there sometimes you may find pseudomonas in the gut also you may ask me how they are whether they are inferior or they are superior this gut pseudomonas with the soil pseudomonas that comparison work some people are doing other which way otherwise uh, no need of uh, taking this much risk if they are really inferior your gut bacillus subtilis is so inferior compared to soil uh, bacillus subtilis you can go for you can take some risk and isolate otherwise the efficacy is more better the soil pseudomonas or soil bacillus why to choose this uh, gut microflora for uh, controlling the plant disease so efficacy should be more or some other uh, metabolites they should produce 
extra metabolites so that the people are uh, another area of research this gut microflora are being used for biocontrol of plant diseases also you see what are all the different types some of the bacteria you may it is very uh, human uh, pathogen some bacteria they are present in the gut uh, portion of the insects see this is all i have done this you see the bacillus pumilus is inhibiting sir just you i am introducing you what are all the other areas see how they are inhibiting the bacillomyces pumilus enterobacter inhibiting the bacillomyces pumilus these are all the pathogens this is na the verticillium so how this what we do na in our plant pathogen dual dual culture same technique there in that way they are protecting this is another fungi fungus which also inhibit the you are random pathogens same way so how you are uh, telling this so it is protecting the host protecting the leaf hopper white flies or mealybugs against the insect uh, means pathogen invasion that way that work you can it's helping for the insect survival and further growth see art what we have uh, know this three type of uh, classifications so the virus uh, association with the vector this just i will introduce you briefly the classifications this is non persistent mainly stylet born then semi persistent virus minute means minutes to hours now again it is uh, mouth parts and uh, four guts and persistent they may circulate some viruses propagative circulative circulative propagative circulative non propagative so these are all the different classes of this uh, our uh, viruses plant viruses how they are associated with the vectors you see it's a simple uh, picture again that same thing only i am with the picture i am explaining i don't mind it so it is a non circulative virus again retained in the insect xylet how they are occurring from the phloem the main sap sucking insect that occur the sap from the phloem and it goes to the enter into the epithelial tissue then it goes that is a cycle some it comes to through hemolymph then come to salivary gland some goes to ovary that is the two type of circulative circulative propagative goes to it may also multiply in different tissues again it will it has to anyhow it has to come to hemolymph salivary that flower like na that is salivary glands then it will come to xylet uh, then it will infect means it will transfer so these different uh, categories how they are uh, uh, means uh, located in the insect vectors and this again here uh, we have the three components you have the virus the virus is being carried by the vector and the vector feeds the transfers your virus to the plant and the virus what it does it influences the host sucking behavior of the vector so it has to feed chili it has to feed tomato that host i have to decide where to go but the virus influences the host sucking behavior of the insect insect cannot go it is it is written i didn't know i we have not done the research on that it is literature many places the virus is influencing the vector to go feed on that the host searching behavior of the host is influenced by the virus so many of the viruses 80% of the viruses are carried by the vector insects only so so that the plant option searching ability of the vector this uh, choosing the ability host choosing the ability of the vector is not by its own it is also influenced by the virus so virus materializes its movement through the host searching ability of the host it's spreading means it is moving the vectors to carry carrying the virus the virus directing and it is taking hand the Uh, so host searching ability of the vector by that the virus is moving it is spreading across different crops see these are all the major vectors white flies aphids and leaf hoppers and one more question is why not i initially i put why sucking pests are the major vectors why not others are 
why sucking pests are also becoming vectors maybe my question my lesson is because of this endosymbionts maybe others are also carrying you may not find much endosymbionts in other insects so that virus could not be retained in the insect uh, gut or homo hemolymph wherever so these sucking pests because their sucking pests are mainly depend on this microflora only for their survival so the microflora are playing major role for the sucking pest for their survival also to carry the plant viruses so other lepidopteran insects podoptera helicorpa so many are there so they are not becoming vectors why because they are not they are not dependent on this symbionts or their survival is not independent of the symbionts and the vectors are not being retained by the hemolympha or foregut or hindgut that may be some other factors why the sucking pest are only becoming major vectors so you see here these are all the endosymbionts i also didn't i have uh, a cotton leaf hopper we have isolated some grinded and isolated some microflora but i couldn't get that portiera bacchnera salsia i also the new names all are bacteria only these all are bacteria well proved concepts these are all helping for the plants for the survival and here they are playing major role to um, for the vectors supporting the vectors to carry the virus see here portiera bacchnera all culturable only but i could not culture because i didn't get maybe this insects if it's or uh, other uh, leaf hoppers it may be there this all uh, uh, wolbachia i i had wolbachia i cultured other organisms i could not you see secondary symbionts in mosquitoes they have done some works on wolbachia for mosquito survival without this they cannot suck the human blood like that some literatures are there for uh, searching the human blood or to suck the human blood this bacteria is needed if you dissociate the relationship huh, uh, the the survival of the mosquitoes are questioned it will not survive like that literature there but they are vector institutes are doing research on this area but they could not come out with a good outcome and it is being talked that uh, discussions are going on i have gone through the literature for mosquito survival albakia is so much left and right they have Uh, if you read the abstract you will come to know that wolbachia is playing its egg laying so you have to arrest the egg laying because without that egg laying will not be there that way is important point only but that is not being carried forward for the management of mosquitoes so this is the three major uh, vectors so that these are all the symbionts because here i am using symbionts because they have the designated roles see this is uh, in 2008 also people have through fluorescence in situ hybridization they have detected the uh, presence of uh, these endosymbionts in said the uh, eggs so they have detected in the eggs these are all the um, uh, symbionts presented in the egg portions see this uh, hamiltonella arsenons this I, i am hearing first time i i could not i don't know how to whether it is if you culture it is a culturable only if you culture will you get this but in cotton leaf hopper i didn't get this type of organisms but if you have use special media or you have to see the i am giving some lead only this way you can control the uh, finally what we are uh, aiming is management of plant viruses only through the this uh, insect vector relationship how their relationship how they are carrying how they, that will come next slides so by arresting the support this microflora are supporting some uh, microflora or virus are being carried hitch hacking you will say hitch hacking hitch hacking means the mutta to get pawan le pinadi arsi mutta adu mari they are hitch hacking some bacteria are carrying backward this this viruses and moving so these are all the areas where you can completely eliminate the system cut by feeding streptomycin that's the simplest technique you can sterilize namapa we we take antibiotics 
one week our digestion we will get loose motion only why because our gut is completely sterilized same way you can sterilize those insects so that the insects will not will not give support, get support from this that is simplest tech field how it is possible see i am talking the based on the my hypothesis all are my hypothesis field how it is possible field the insects are carrying and they are moving here and there can we spray the streptomycin in the field we are spraying for the bacterial disease management it is also not recommended now slowly the uh, uh, antibiotics na no? uh, streptomycin sulfate will be banned but i think hope it is banned already or being banned and for bacterial disease management we don't have any option other than uh, some of the antagonistic organisms are there or uh, streptomycin sulfate only by spraying streptomycin sulfate insects also come and feed we are spraying for disease management and most of the disease uh, soil borne diseases only you have to but sprenging sprenging is not recommended you can't recommend streptomycin sulfate for the management of bacterial diseases sprenging is not there if you spray insects also feed maybe those insects you collect and see whether it is completely sterilized insect may die in that case if you feed through honey your antibiotics if you feed that is the way if you feed the honey with the antibiotics to the insect insect that insect cuts will be sterilized completely you will the insect cut will not have any bacteria then how the insect grows that studies our people were trying but in plants how we prove na cox postulates same way insects also you have to prove cox postulates same way only you allow the first to sterilize the gut microflora see the infect insect growth whether next stage is egg laying is there or your whatever the stages are there then is there again feed them with uh, honey with uh, your uh, microflora see whether they are reviving they have to revive otherwise that is cox postulates only like plants see they have to revive if they are not reviving that role you cannot uh, whether they are playing major role how to see that is the only way for some insects our people have done for increasing the fecundity of beneficial insects trichogramma you all might have heard na trichogramma cortisia so many are there chrysoperla they are telling for them they need lot of eggs because their main uh, thing is large scale multiplication of that insects to insect rearing that is being used for insect rearing that uh, all gut microflora are being used to increase the n number of insects in that way i can say this is uh, this way that way but doing is not so easy to prove the role of gut microflora it's not so easy so this is your same way you see this all colors in the adults and uh, your uh, nymphs and adults the same way it is see again how they are helping you see here see this green color na like cylinder that is rickettsia it's a bacteria you see where it is in the mid cut this is the root when the uh, insect ingest the sap along with that that virus reach the uh, epithelium intestinal epithelium that is foregut then it goes to midgut from there it crosses to hemolymph then comes to salivary glands that flower like is salivary glands again it will come back to xylem then it will infect it will pass on to the healthy plants sometimes it goes to the ovary that is horizontal transmission that is it uh, goes to next generation again from ovary again it has to through neurotrophic route it has to reach the salivary gland this is a simple thing anywhere this root na anywhere your virus is being it has to be stabilized that is the role this microflora play this is the role that's all see in ingestion also or in gut portion also mid gut also you see that uh, rickettsia 
is uh, down because anyway we also are insects also any foreign organism a pathogen or any organism it comes when they enter try to enter inside the body the insect will struggle to prevent the infection or whatever its entry it will maximum the insect struggle to prevent the entry so that immune system will be activated insect immune system will be activated in such a way that it has to prevent the prevent the entry of the foreign organisms or whatever it is that way the immune system will be down regulated by this rickettsia so that virus will be acquired this is one one point so you see in the mid cut portion it is the Im- down regulating the immune c- related gene so your immune system is down regulated so that the acquisition is acquisition alla that is mid cut mid cut means it has to be retained acquisition is in the stylet portion for gut when it enters in the mid cut it has to be retained stability is important so that that uh, that is playing a major role your rickettsia it is down regulating the immune related gene so that the virus can enter and it can pass on to the next generation if it goes to hemolymph next there also you see there hamiltonella bacchnera bacchnera and all well proved bacchnera is a bacteria which helps for aphid all the ways without bacchnera aphid will not survive that is well proved concept so you see here the grow el protein this protein is being produced by almost all bacteria so that uh, protein that interaction you see this lutea virus and bacchnera that 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 coat protein of this virus may binds with the grow el protein so that that stability is being maintained so in which way we can we can have uh, uh, we can concentrate this area or that area it is uh, not so easy these are all based on the literature some some points i am giving wherever you can think of so either down regulating the immune related genes of your uh, uh, insect system or uh, that uh, uh, hamiltonella germini virus or bacchnera lutea viruses that grow el is a protein which is produced almost all by all bacteria that helps for that protein only bacterial protein that protein binds with the insect viruses cp coat protein one more protein also read through protein read through protein and coat protein so in that this grow il protein binds and stabilize for you be here for one month or two months to go next means it has to go to uh, next stage or it has to go to next plant so the stability is maintained see again you see that is outer membrane protein again next salsia and nasia these are all uh, new names all new names for me also these are all new new bacteria how to isolate how to identify i also don't know so i am giving some uh, points these are all the way this microflora are helping the uh, vectors to retain and trans means to pass through the different uh, uh, portions of the insect gut so that it can go on it transfer the healthy plants see here ovary also same way porin and uh, outer membrane protein these two proteins are also helping for the uh, insects and to retain in the ovary portions so generally what i have briefed already same uh, roles only just i am in sentences form i am repeating so they are regulating the viral acquisition which way they are helping viral acquisition also then stability in the hemolymph and then uh, that they influence the plant infection for healthy plants also they have to infect next after uh, passing through gut pore gut uh, the mid gut hind gut then they have to come to hemolymph finally again they have to come to stylet for trans into the healthy plants so that uh, they help for the virus virus infection and healthy plants also then vertical transmission for next generations see these are all the uh, how this three type of bacteria behave in different way so where they are in the uh, insect system if you see the plus minus i have put there if the bacteria is having this arsenob uh, this 
arsinoponus the fertility the offspring will be if it is not there it will be less simply that's all so there also the hamiltonally the, the insect which carries or which harbors this bacteria the amino acid biosynthesis will be there and the production of vitamin b otherwise it will not be there so like that see there also rickettsia it helps in the uh, hemolymph retain retention and secrete the growel protein and the acquisition of the to tomato yellow leaf called and again the attraction so if it is not there it will be less so this way the different uh, bacteria are playing in different way see these are all again the same uh, uh, things only exactly what their role they are doing you see mice persica aphids this acetosiphum pisum is a aphid rafflosiphum padi is also a aphid and what endosymbiont bicanera what product symbionin groeal groeal homola because the pro the proteins which are or some other molecules which are being similar to the groeal that is groeal homola so that are the which are all the virus they are helping to transfer potato leaf roll barley yellow dough like that so the endosymbiont bacteria play a crucial role in determining the persistent nature of viruses in the aphid hemolymph so the n terminal region of the luteovirus rtd that is read through protein which determines the virus binding to bacteria guel and it is essential for the stability of virus in hemolymph so these are all the points where the association can be dissociated where you can break the association these are all the points so white fly is also same way rickettsia how it helps rickettsia down regulates i already i all I explained i already so how the rickettsia helps how the hamilton lock helps so different uh, trips also you see the cells but how how the endosymbiont name they could not uh, name what it is it's unspecified so in this is in infecting the mid gut mid gut portion these are all the uh, viruses which are being retained and uh, passed on to next uh, generation in gl guys and uh, uh, rice and nila parvada so different roles they are playing so in acquisition how it helps see what i have explained already they regulate the host defenses against viral infection on gut epithelial cells by modulating gut immune responses and altering the physical status same way i have explained already this uh, uh, immune being down regulated by the gut microflora they are helping so that virus enters into the insect body so same way the rickettsia helps in the tomato leaf curl virus for all these things acquisition retention and transmission interaction it produces the secretory protein which only helps to maintain the stability of the virus in the insect and also helps to bind with the coat protein that is vitologen these are all the proteins i already told grow el and this is the another protein which helps for the trans bland virus transmission so this is the uh, uh, just uh, root mid gut hemolymph salivary glands this is the one protein i have explained already groeal proteins of endosymbionts helps in maintenance of plant virus in hemolymph the conserved n terminal read through protein is part of the luteovirus capsid that is required for binding of groeal so the n terminal read through protein that is a part of uh, the virus capsid that is required for binding of the groeal protein so this break groeal and rtd or cp so mice specifically again it binds with the symbionin is another homolog of groeal protein so these uh, white flies they harbor the hamiltonella it helps acquisition retention and spread of viruses and this uh, tumor mosaic virus also can alter the insect vectors feeding preference i have explained in the beginning it uh, influences the host searching behavior of the vector viruses control is with virus so that way also uh, this uh, bacteria are helping the uh, viruses to select the host so this way the how to now the last slide this is and the prospects so i have uh, already i spoke all the aspects how they are in which way this uh, vector competence in which way we can have 
the influence of the symbionts how the manipulate the microflora so that the vector carrying capacity the vector which carries the plant viruses that where if you destabilize the hemolymph or if you uh, the connecting means i have already told cord protein or read through protein with grow el that is the protein of some microflora so they are binding and so that it is carrying where all you can intervene and so that you can uh, have the virus the bacterial the virus relationship only will breaking so that it cannot carry the virus inside the system that's all it should not carry and it should not forward to the next generation so which way we can uh, materialize this options she stop the production of bacterial gl i don't know this is the one option not only in uh, hemolymph wherever it is already i have explained the grow el protein is the main uh, protein which is being produced by the almost all bacteria whatever the bacteria are there whatever the bacteria are being harbored the insect parts that protein secretion has to be arrested or the bacteria has to be eliminated so the virus plant virus cannot move forward in the insect body so again the grow el protein only how it can be that interaction is well proved how to break the interaction of the protein with the virus and you can uh, see this uh, viral particles proteolysis sometimes the proteolysis grow el protein from all bacterial enzymes could interact with the viral particles and protect the from proteolysis so again it is stability only this proteins are helping for the stability of the plant viruses in the insect uh, issues that can be also stability can be uh, dis disrupted stability how will you disrupt virus should not be stabilized how virus is being stabilized i have explained how you will be disrupting the stability so that it will not uh, the insect cannot carry forward the plant viruses so you can engineer this endosymbiotic bacteria of white fly producing double stranded rna they are homologous with grow el gene for optimal post transcriptional gene silencing this is uh, another area uh, post gene silencing uh, that is uh, very advanced stage of uh, manipulating the uh, gut microflora so this is what i have done knock down or down of the grow el gene so that it will not produce the protein these are all the options how to explore the endosymbionts or gut microflora or the management of plant viruses or how the virus should not means vectors should not carry the our objective is vectors should not hold the plant viruses inside the system it should destroy itself otherwise that is not possible because all bacteria are helping helping the insect to hold the plant viruses inside the system so it will not destroy whatever the virus enters into the inside system insect vectors will not destroy because bacteria are there helping the plant viruses to move so this way i am concluding hope you might have got some points from my presentation to carry forward i am not a great expert on this based on some i studied because it is a new area i was thinking to deliver routine uh, plant disease management i was thinking but that will be known to everybody i was thinking climate resilient biocontrol agents new area of uh, our plant disease management uh, now climate morning vinodini topic is also it is uh, abiotic stress tolerance that is climate resilience biocontrol agents that's a new area of i was thinking but that also we all aware that our topic this may be the new topic i just like to introduce only you can go through some other literature so with uh, minimum time i was thinking which area we can 
exposed to you. So this is one area because we are not able to solve the plant viruses problem because we are not able to find, we could not come out any solution for the management of plant viruses. So only resistance source is the only option. So that this uh, area, one which may, somebody may come out with a small project, uh, which area I, I have given some clues for you to prepare the project so that funding we can see. I am also ready to help because all those things area now if you anybody is working on plant viruses so you can uh, think of not only this i have not gone through all the literature because other uh, microflora role in this vector transmission means uh, this virus transmission some more area also some more points also when you go through the literature you may get but these are all the maximum uh, role the uh, endosymbionts are playing on plant virus uh, movement in the insect uh, parts. This, this way, uh, I uh, thank uh, this uh, TNAU and uh, Professor and Dr. Rangapan and uh, our uh, uh, Dr. Nakiran, all of you for uh, giving me an opportunity to share my knowledge on this aspect. So thank you one and all. If you have any clarification, because I will also learn from you, if you give some point, otherwise whatever I am having in my <laughs> brain or mind, I will share. These are new area. I have uh, got, gained knowledge by going the literature, because this area, nobody might have thought of exploring, because I want to give some uh, clues for you people to think over. So that you may come or you may move to new idea so that some project because funding may be because it is possible, but uh, concept uh, to we have to like uh, prepare the concept notes. So whether uh, while go throughing experts are there, whether they will agree this concept because it's all what I have delivered you all based on the literature. Big, big, because very well uh, renowned people's literature I read and I have presented. So all the concepts have been uh, well proved. So based on these concepts only, uh, you can uh, prepare a concept note or that. We can think of uh, funding and everything later. So thank you, sir. Yeah. Once we take antibiotic, what we'll do after that? We'll, we'll supplement with the lactobacilli. But there we can't... Uh, See, I have listed what are all the bacteria are there. There you can it, you can establish whatever you are sterilizing with antibiotics. What I have told now, we have to prove the same way by plant pathogens. We have to prove the cockpostulate. We can sterilize and see the insect growth, whether they are playing a major role or not, whether the insect uh, next stage, whether egg laying is there or not. That way we have to see, insect may survive, but next stages may not be there. That is also good for us. Come, come back to, we have to maintain a control also. Otherwise, we will not know. So, again the same, you sterilize, so all gut microflora will go. Again, those culturable microbes, whatever you have, you supplement with honey. Then you, have, you can see whether revival is there. The insect is... Again, it is uh, retaining its original uh, attributes, you have to see. That is possible. Our people are doing for the trichogramma they are doing. They will not sterilize. They will supplement with honey the bacteria for increasing the egg laying, the fecundity they are doing. But what we, our objective, secondary symbionts, what I have told, uh, that is uh, my understood my because my I have done on uh, cotton leaf upper based on that microflora I have already explained migration but primary symbionts uh, I don't know whether it is secondary is migrating because how finally you are uh, isolating a bacillus subtilis from the insect gut the probably where it could have come. It could have come from the soil only because again there only the bacillus subtilis might have ended. Endophytic bacillus are so many endophytic organisms are there. 
whether these insects while feeding while feeding whether they occurred in a bacteria from the plant that's what my hypothesis i i conclude in that way it comes again a cycle is being maintained for the secondary symbionts for primary symbionts what you are asking migration from insect to plant you are asking a uh, insect to plant uh, it may be but secondary symbionts possibilities are there migration of organisms from insects to plants whatever it is being harbored whether they are being transferred to plants virus it is transferring that is another question i am it is coming into mind through in, the, in the, this tailored we don't know along with i have explained everything it's a very good question because yeah when it probe na stylets we there is no guarantee it releases only the virus it may releases other organisms also all gut microflora also go to the plant means that possibilities are there but whether again that is a big system it goes it has to survive in the plant in that way if it goes suppose it goes it is surviving in the plant whatever the insect gut microflora it is going to the plant how way we can manage plant viruses in the insect because 80% of the plant viruses are being carried by the insects our target is insect only it may go to the plant it will survive into the plant again it may come to the soil so how to manage the plant viruses when it go, it migrates migrates is good for the plants only but our target was insect gut there only viruses are being stabilized our plant viruses are being stabilized with the help of symbionts so there only we have to see alteration of ph there is another factor because all bacteria only we are encountering very rarely we are encountering fungus maybe the alkaline nature of the gut portion we are mainly you got all sort of bacteria you are getting you are unable to get one bacteria we got uh, philo philo I, i am not able to remember one floriformi philobacidium floriformi one fungi, uh, fungus we got again we may escape we may miss that fungus may be there we may because nila parvada na another they are all yeast like symbionts i have put one in one slide yeast like symbionts are there they are helping i have told virus is controlling the host searching behavior of the insect okay in nila parvada symbionts are helping symbionts only directing the insect to go to this plant these are all complicated <laughs> they are nila parvada it is well proved symbionts only host searching behavior they are playing a role you have to select rice only or cotton only like that uh, symbionts are also playing host searching ability virus symbionts are also playing for virus for plants the insect has to search that i have explained for nila parvada lugens the rice exclusively 100% the symbionts are playing with the host searching behavior varietal susceptibility that is another area which variety is susceptible which variety is resistant based on the symbionts that is one more area the host susceptibility is also decided by the endosymbionts so that way migration see how it is helping for the plants it helps for the plants and it decides whether they are susceptible to particular vector, particular insect or not not only vectors general insects pests pest also green leaf hopper or brown leaf hopper or uh, uh, bugs na ear head bugs uh, that is also why this uh, irr1 or irr2 is susceptible to brown plant hopper why their tender symbionts are deciding there you go and feed you don't go and feed like that uh, it is there so that migration is there but our uh, migration is possible but primary symbionts migration may not be well it is highly conserved that genome also reduced endosymbiont genome yes yes it is integrated it is integrated in the plant means vector genome and genome size got reduced 
and the genome arrangements also alterations have been done so it is highly conserved that if we target we can cut yeah Lighting. their uh, aspect is different what they are aiming so. yeah yeah i know that they are uh, they are aiming for nutrition there is insect should be bulky should be bulk because their output is silk ange vand they want uh, ah the larva larva will be big. the bacillus subtilis is major playing role there the different roles they are feeding bacillus subtilis and the insect is becoming bulky the yield is more that is another area they are the concentrating nutrition is being supplemented by bacillus subtilis and they got the project it is already yeah that is rearing the insect is rearing silkworm is being reared with the help of bacillus subtilis the food they somehow the quality of the uh, the silk and the quantity uh, some some protein getting all being increased by supplementing the bacillus subtilis to the larvae or that cocoon or whatever that that project is going on 